these kids, I was I was talking to, um, I think it was Joe earlier tonight, and uh, we were talking talking about that we really don't have a superstar on this team. We have um, a different hero every week, and it's pretty awesome, isn't it? And um, Lexi's, Lexi, actually, I was showing you that chart earlier um, where we went 8-1-0, and oh, one, uh, however you want to say, eight wins, one tie. And had we lost that first game, we wouldn't be the champions. And we wouldn't have been undefeated, and we wouldn't be going up two divisions. None of that would have happened. We only tied that game 1-1, and Lexi scored that goal. I mean, it's so cool. and so, I mean, you guys see what she brings to the table. She's, she's tenacious. She's fast. She, she, she controls that outside. Um, and I see a lot of big stuff coming from her. But for me, it's just awesome to get to coach my kid. And at most, most uh, you allow, at competitive level, I've, uh, you guys all know that I played college soccer. And then, it, then uh, uh, some of you might know my, one of my best friends, Coach runs all the Storm. Another guy I know really well knows, runs all of Real Colorado. And even knowing those guys, I can't do this at, at their clubs, even though I'm really good friends with these guys. And so, for me to be able to do this at the kickers is pretty awesome. And there's been some really, really cool times when I got a, a little girl that's had a tough day at school and I got a half hour to talk to her. And my dad gets to do that every single, two, twice a week. It's awesome. And um, we've had some, some really cool ones. And uh, go back to the as, as life lessons, as Troy said, one of the best ones was, I mean, it was really tough, but one of, the, one of our recipients was a, was a gentleman that had a, um, cancer and and when I met him, they said, you've got six, six weeks to live. And this guy was amazing. He, he latched on to what we do. And, he, and every time I talked to this guy, he didn't want to know, uh, tell me about you know, his latest setback or this and that, because he had plenty of them. He wanted to know who was the next guy we were going to help. Can he hand out the check? So on and so forth. This guy went on to live <clears throat> over a year longer. And he did pass away. But it was amazing. Honestly, a surgeon came up to me at the funeral and said, I don't know what you guys did, but that defied every odd ever. I mean, he should not have done that. And uh, at, right before he died, or the day he died, I had soccer practice. And it was, it was uh, I'll never forget it, because um, we got in the car and we're driving. I didn't want to tell her, because Lexi used to tell, told me about this guy, Kim. She goes, Kim's a lot older than me, but we're good friends. And um, so this one hit her really hard. And she's a tough little kid, really tough, and she hates to hates to show emotions a lot of times. So I told her in the car driving down, and she said she didn't want to look at me. She turned her head away from me, uh, and, uh, and then I, she goes, "Can I turn on the radio?" And lo and behold, no kidding, I I popped on the radio, and I I we have XM radio in my car, and I have the station called the Bridge. I don't know if you guys listen to it; it's kind of folk rock stuff. And um, very first song came on. As soon as I pushed the button, it started, and it was knocking on heaven's door. Swear to God. And uh, it's one of her favorite songs now. Yay. So uh, give her a big hand. Yay. Well, now, give it, give it. You guys all got pictures. Um, this is a little gift from me as well. Everybody gets matching headbands. <laughs> 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 but we'll get to you. No, I'm not. Okay. has beautiful crosses. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Uh, Benta, come on. This is, the, this is the toughest kid on the team. You guys, uh, you guys don't get us. Didn't get to see some of the stuff that that I had her last season, and and uh, we had to kind of pull off some of our victories and ties and whatever with a lot of smoke and mirrors. But we did it. But we did it with two really, really, really tough defenders. That just if you want two kids on your team. Uh, these two are best friends, and if you want two that, that are, uh, you want to go in a foxhole with, and, and no matter what, this, you're going to come out a winner, this is one of them. Yeah, that's true, Yeah, yeah, so, uh, but a couple things, I took her to, last year we went to a, um, uh, a, a hockey game, was it your first oh, hockey game ever? No, my first. Yeah, one of your first games, and she's in the crowd, and uh, I knew a couple of the guys out on the ice, and lo and behold, couple guys drop the gloves and they're going at it. She goes, they're allowed to fight? And I, yeah, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and um, she goes, I wish they'd let us do that in hockey. I mean, soccer. She, goes, she says, I'd be our fighter. <laughs> right? Yeah. And, 
But uh, we, we had another really tough game. I wish you guys could have seen this one because we were so outmanned. We played this team that had given up no goals and had scored 30, 40 goals at least. And I, was, I honestly thought, boy, this is going to be a really long game. And um, we went out there, and they play, you know this game, they played incredibly hard. And, um, but we, were, we didn't have a whole lot of players, and I was like, I think we might have had one sub that day. And um, this gal gets hurt, tears coming down her face. I went out on the field, and I, I said to her, I said, um, you want to come off? And she looks at our bench, has no people. She, this is her to her coach. Literally says no, and pushes me to <laughs> I looked at their coach and I said, that's how we roll. <laughs> so, uh, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, we, big, big, big hand for Ben. <laughs> All right, Katie, come on up here. Katie, this is, uh, you guys, I think most of you guys know, or probably all of you know, this is, uh, this is Coach's kid. This is Eric's daughter. And, um, Katie is one of our most versatile players. She plays in the goal once in a while, and uh, about every fourth time, right, or so. And um, she she likes to play defender, but you guys saw what she can do when we put her up front. It took her about five minutes, and she put one in the back of the net in the last game. So um, she's literally, literally our, probably, I would say, our most versatile player. The other thing that about Katie, you guys probably don't see it, but I do, and this is really, I mean, credit to Katie, but credit to Eric. Um, you, I can't tell if she's right or left footed, and and that's really rare at this age. And um, she'll hit a ball. I, I I think I even asked Eric after the second or third practice because you can't tell, and that's a huge huge skill that's gonna it, gonna really help her as they go on. And uh, all of you guys are working on it, right? But um, this is who you gotta watch if you wanna wanna be a star at that. So big hand for Katie. Goal scoring here. Yeah. Right? Play it again. Play yeah. again. Exactly what we write, Lexi. That's exactly what we tell her. Shielding the ball, it's on the outside foot. She's got her arm there, and the other girl's cheating. But I bet she, I, I bet she didn't do anything bad. So uh, Courtney again. This is uh, uh, Courtney's an amazing player. You guys, when we, when she's not there, it's really obvious, right? And when she's <laughs> And, you uh, still are going back yeah. country again. Yeah, yeah, you're changing your you're changing your future plan. So, um, but uh, Court, Courtney's um, I she she is a born defender, but she's gone up and scored a goal for us too. But um, she is really a prototypical person. She's also of all our players, she is the coach on the field, and um. She understands the game the best. She's usually in the back, so she sees everything in front of her, right? Mom. And um, but she's a really, really cerebral type player, and a uh, she she reads the game, knows the game better than any of our players. And we're really, really lucky to have Courtney. As long as we've got Courtney in the back, we're going to be solid, right, Lexi? Mm -hmm. Lexi's seen that for a year or two. So big hand for Courtney. two punch in the in the middle on defense we do like to move players around and and uh so on and so forth but really our ultimate lineup is when she's right in front of courtney and first game they had a couple of moments where they were off and and another really smart kid and it's really important in the back you got smart kids and these two kind of took it upon themselves to step to the side and elena says to me we got to communicate better you're right mm -hmm. and um i didn't have to do anything it's they went and did it themselves, figured it out, said this isn't acceptable, 